Bye. Today I will be giving a presentation on a study, why to study abroad. On this side of the room, we have a, well, in the room we have a scholarship committee, and on this side of the room, we have the committee that doesn't support um, study abroad, and on this side, we have the committee that supports study abroad. And um, by the end of today, hopefully, I can get at least one more person from this side to support to send funds to study abroad. Okay. So right here I have a globe. And how many of you guys can tell me all the seven continents, or what's happening in Belize right now, or what time it is in Denmark? This is, this is why I'm pushing the importance of studying abroad. Because as North Americans, we often don't, um, we often don't, Think about what's happening in other places of the world. We, are, we have very um, ethnocentric minds to think that we're better than everyone else and don't really care what's going on in other places of the world today. But, it's, an, it's important to take advantage of the world around us because there's so much out there to offer and so many things to learn. With studying abroad, the reason why that you should go abroad is to create your own adventure. Um, the world is filled with, with, uh, with numerous people and each person has their own experiences. And the reason why I'm asking the committee to give money towards this is because it often can be expensive to go abroad, but if you guys create a certain scholarship for a certain amount of people to go abroad, this can help them. This can push for other students to go abroad, and this could be encouragement, so they're not discouraged by the, the expenses that it takes. Um, Deborah Kelly, which, is, which wrote a, a book called um, 101 Reasons to Study Abroad, um, she quotes that the reason why people should go to study abroad is to explore and see new sceneries and horizons. Uh, one reason to study abroad is to learn a new language. With my experience in studying abroad, I was able to learn a new language. As, and this is a little excerpt that I'll read to you guys, and what it says is, Voy a vivir, voy a bailar, voy, I mean, vivir mi vida, la, la, la. It's a, it's a song, so I'll sing the second part to you. It says, voy a vivir, voy a gozar, vivir mi vida, la, 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 la. And what the song is saying is that I'm going to live my life, I'm going to dance, I'm going to live my life. It's saying I'm going to live my life and I'm going to enjoy my life and I'm going to to live my life again. And it's just important to learn a new language because it opens so many doors for you. And in the United States, we often don't learn a new language to about middle school or high school. But in other countries of the world, they start learning a new language when they're in kindergarten. In Japan, in Germany, they start learning language as little children and they actually become fluent in new languages, whereas us, we often don't become fluent. We just learn a little bit of vocabulary words to get past, and we often don't learn the true language. So that's another reason to go abroad, is to learn a new language, 
And with these skills that I learned from having a new language is that I can communicate maybe in the airport, get a, get a job in the airport, or just on television, just I could watch a Spanish sitcom and it just, it's, yeah. Oh, also when you have another language, it broadens your, what jobs you can get in different places of the United States, like in Texas, where you have more people that speak Spanish, you often can get a job versus someone who doesn't know another language. Another reason to go abroad is to meet new people. When you, in this picture right here, can you hit one of those lights? Just one of them. Oh, that's good. And what this picture is right here is a picture of me and about 20 of my friends. And we all were exchange students from around the world. We have people in here from Asia, from Germany, from France, from the Netherlands. And as a group of friends, we weren't Although we weren't from the same places, we were all able to find a commonality that we had. And from people from all, all over the world, I got to learn new things about other people's cultures. I got to learn about Oktoberfest in, in Germany or in Holland, how they have all the different tulips, or in, or in Japan, how they prepare certain dishes. So when, with meeting new people, you learn different experiences, and you have those friends for a lifetime, for a lifetime. And also, you're, when you meet the new people, you're able to travel and see their, see their countries as well. For example, if I wanted to, I could just go to like Germany right now and just go stay at one of my friend's house. And that's, that's really cool when you can go and experience new places. This is another picture of us with um, all of us showing our flags and where we're from. And also, when, when you study abroad, it can build your resume. And with it building your resume, employers are, employers are looking for people that are versatile and able to recreate themselves. And with studying abroad, it gives you the experience and you also gain international communications as well. Another reason to study abroad is because you build survival skills. Um, you learn how to survive and maintain your life on the things that you have. You're not always, for example, when you go abroad, you bring maybe two suitcases. You don't have all your belongings that are in your house in everyday life. And you learn to live with what you have. And as you live with what you have, maybe your jeans start getting a hole in them, or maybe your shoes get worn out. But you learn how to make things work. Another reason to study abroad is for your own personal growth. As you go abroad, Maybe when you leave, you're maybe a little selfish or materialistic, but when you're abroad by yourself without your family, you, you sort of, you have more time to think. And when you have more time to think, you become more creative on how to solve problems by yourself. You become more independent, become more self-confident. And Another reason to study abroad is for the other country's culture. Right here is, um, this is a cup, and this is from Argentina. And what this cup is called a mate. And right here, this is your straw. This is what you call a bombija. And with this straw, this is a filter right here. And the straw goes in the cup, and then after the straw's in the cup, you pour a tea, like, it's a tea, it's an herb, and it's, it's called yerba mate, and you pour the mate into the cup, 
And then after you have the mate in the cup, you pour hot water in the cup. And along with the, the um, hot water, you also put sugar for a little flavor. And this goes along with the Argentinian culture because around five o'clock each day, or maybe when you wake up in the morning, you'll sit with five of your other friends and you, you'll pour it and then you pass it to the next pour person. And after they sip it, then you pour some more water into it and then you pass it to the next person. At first for me, this was a big culture shock because I, in the United States, we don't share drinks and straws and, and I have my neighbor passing me, passing me the mate saying, oh, come on, sip. And it's, it's considered rude if you don't. So what's part, part of culture is just adapting to different situations and learning how to just get into the culture and do things as the people do. So in this, in this picture right here, she has a, a mate in her hand and these are alfajores. It's like a little cookie of Argentina that everybody eats around five o'clock, just around snack time. And right here is a picture of just, they're very friendly and um, friends oriented. So what they do is they play games. You come over to eat every Friday and it's just, really cool when you get to know somebody's culture and when you actually get to live like the people do everyday life. By the time I left my exchange, I felt like I was from Argentina. So that's about the culture. Also with the cultures, also with the cultures you learn different taboos and what to do and what not to do. Joyce Wasser, Wasserman, a woman who did exchange in India reports that in, in India, you don't eat with your left hand because with your left hand is usually the hand that you go to the bathroom with and that you wipe with. So in Indian culture, it's considered rude to touch food or touch certain utensils with your left hand because that's what you go to the bathroom with. So um, she said that they often push for like using utensils or grabbing food right hand. Um, other examples of study abroad programs that the scholarship money could give money towards is for the students to study with our um, uh, the, the Rotary Youth Exchange or you can do a SUNY study abroad program. If you leave with nothing else today, study abroad because you can, because you should be, you should take advantage of the things that are put in front of you. When you have opportunities, make the best out of them. Make the best out of them. Another reason to study abroad is be, to explore and have a new adventure in your life, and to see a new scenery, and to adapt to the different world around you. Rodolfo Bianchi. Um, a Rotarian in Argentina reports um, study abroad because adaptation builds character. And the third reason that people should study abroad is because you build unforgettable experience with people and memories. And thank you for your time today. And, uh, I'm going to scan the crowd and I'm done. Feel free to apply. Mm -hmm.